anime of the year. There is no attack on Titan. Where the hell is One Piece? Why the f is Pochi the Rock here? Sukuna, it's because of you, you son of a bitch. <sighs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's the day I cast my vote for what I believe will emerge as the winners in this year's anime awards. So without further ado, let's get started. Come on. Best voice artist, Japanese. Atsumi Tanezaki, Kikonosuke Toya. He's pretty young. I might give him the vote. 25 years old. I mean, it's not bad for a voice actor. Oh, oh, Yuki Kaji as well. Oh, Mayumi Tanaka. Luffy, fuck. This is hard. I mean, Denji was decent, nothing crazy. Yuki Kaji is always good, but without spoiling too much, Eren didn't really have much to say. No, I, I have to give it to, to Mayumi Tanaka. She did a great job with Wano Luffy and all the stuff that happened with Gear 5 and everything. She is gonna get my vote for sure. Best ending sequence. Akari, color, happiness of the dead. Hawatari Nyoku, Senti Koi Kogare Mephisto. I do know this one. And what is JJK's uh, Akari? Oh! This one is good. This one is good. This one is good. Okay. Mephisto. Let me listen to it one more time. Yeah. 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 I like this one more than uh, Akari. Mm, no. No, I don't really like it. Change some on. Ending three. What the hell is that? Holy shit. Mm, nah, 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 nah. Color, I know color, I know. No, I don't know happiness of the dead. Let's see. Nah. Uh, so you guys are saying Akari for me, definitely. Akari, very nice. Nah, bro, I, I, I'm going with, uh, with Mephisto, Oshinoko, Queen B. Right, best opening sequence, without a doubt. This was my most listened song on Spotify. This was my most listened song on YouTube music. This was by far my most listened song in maybe last couple of years. So I have to go with Idol from Yoasubi. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Work a lot from Hell's Paradise. I also loved Kickback from Chainsaw Man. I've listened to this song so many goddamn times. This was a banger, bro. Aoi no Sumika from JJK was also fucking amazing, but I'm just, I have to go with Oshinoko and with Idol. What you think, chat? Wanna listen to Idol? If I'm not wrong, this was the first anime song, anime opening that got on the first place in Billboard Top 100, besides US. Idol, vote. Next one, best score. It's either uh, Attack on Titan or Chainsaw for this. I'll give it to Attack on Titan. Best anime song. I mean, of course I'm going with Idol. I'm not gonna repeat myself. Y'all know that I love this song. I must protect at all costs. Anya, Pochi, Hitori, Hitori Goto. Are you serious? Pochita! It's either Anya, Pochi or Pochita. Yeah, Pochita deserves for sure. I mean, look how cute he is. Best supporting character. Arataka Reigen, Hanji, Zoe, Kana, Arima, Pawa, Satoru Gojo, Sugurugeta. Gojo didn't really appear much. So, Ghetto as well. He didn't in just a flashback, I guess. Other than that, I, I, I just can't vote for these two guys. So, I'm going with uh, Reigen. Mob Psycho 100. The anime is now done and... I guess I won't be able to vote for it anymore. So yeah, Reagan deserves to take the vote here. Best MC. Denji, Eren. Why would you give me Hitori Goto here? Why? Ma, boy, Luffy is here. Shigeo Kageyama as well, Mob. I love Denji. Luffy is my favorite all time anime characters. I also fuck with Mob. Torfin is a great character. I don't really like Bochi. Nevertheless, uh, let me choose uh, my boy here, Luffy. One Piece 
guys did a freaking incredible job when it comes to anime in 2023. It had probably one of the best fighting scenes in all of anime. It had the Gear 5 Luffy versus Kaido fight. Of course, I'm gonna vote for him. Best slice of life. Bochi the Rock. No, for sure not. Do it yourself. I don't know this this anime. Orimiya, not really. Insomniacs after school. Yeah, I'm going with uh, my love story with Yamada-kun. Great, great romance, by the way. If y'all interested, you can check it out. Next, best drama. Ooh. Oshinoko, Shingeki no Kyojin. Heavenly Delusion, My Happy Marriage to Your Eternity, Season 2. Vinland Saga, Season 2. I would go with Oshinoko, but... I think the best drama this year was either Attack on Titan or Vinland Saga. I watched Heavenly Delusion. I didn't really like it. I don't think it's the best drama that aired this year. Should I go with AOT or Vinland Saga? But then again, my heart is telling me go with Oshinoko. I don't know. I'll give it to Attack on Titan. I know a lot, a lot of people didn't really like the ending, but I think it was great. Best fantasy, demon... Question chat, is Demon Slayer really considered a fantasy? When it comes to fantasy anime, I always think of something like uh, Mushoku Tensei. Hell's Paradise, it was good, but not the best. Uh, Ranking of Kings, the treasure chest of courage. Why didn't I watch Ranking of Kings? Is this season 2 though? And the Ancient Mega's Bride season 2. When it comes to fantasy, it's always Mushoku Tensei. Best action. Holy moly. Oh no. They brought us one piece here. GGK had probably one of the best fights that a modern day shonen anime can have. Like it was really peak action. Peak shonen, probably one of the best that came out in the last couple of years for sure. Bleach had also pretty amazing fight scenes good action if i go with one piece y'all gonna say that i'm just biased but at the end of the day you know what i don't really care one piece best action i don't care i don't even have to look on anything else than this this masterpiece here if you guys haven't watched marshall just go and watch it it is in my opinion very underrated and it's a fucking great anime very very good comedy Decent action as well. Overall, you'll just have fun uh, watching it. How was Bochi on best drama and now best comedy? Like, come on. But yeah, as I said, Marshall for sure. Best comedy by far. Next one. Best romance. Y'all no, 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 no. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Season 3, July 8, 2023. Rent the Girlfriend. Season 3 and Crunchyroll didn't even nominate this masterpiece. I'm pissed off, guys. Rent a Girlfriend is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, romance anime. The third season was fucking amazing, was way, way better than the first two. So I don't get it why it hasn't been nominated. I will just go with my love story with Yamada kun. What's wrong with you, Crunchyroll? Don't you have some good taste? Next one. Best art direction. Chainsaw Man, JJK, Zone 100, Hell's Paradise, Demon Slayer, Oshinoko. MAPPA has three on best art direction. I mean, shout out to MAPPA. I know they struggled a little bit with uh, JJK Season 2. The animation had it, its peaks, but also had its lows. Oh, I totally forgot about Hell's Paradise and its world. I changed my mind. Hell's Paradise deserves best cinematography. AOT, Final Chapters, Chainsaw Man, Kimetsu no Yaiba, Heavenly Delusion, Jujutsu Kaisen, Villain Saga, Season 2. This is hard. Then again, it's either AOT or JJK. And I think I'm gonna go with AOT in this one. Best Director, AOT was, was amazing. I'm sorry, guys. I have to go with AOT. Right, next one. Best character design. I heard a lot of good things about Trigon Stampede. I think I'm gonna go with Oshinoko here. I mean, 
look guys i'll just i will just show you something it's just gorgeous gorgeous but hell's paradise had also pretty dope character designs chainsaw man also but those eyes bro i don't know but then again ah oh, no i'm going with chainsaw man i'm just changing my mind but yeah chainsaw man best animation bro aot kind of but not really i love chainsaw man but i don't think it had the best animation demon slayer usually when you talk about best animation you talk about demon slayer or demon slayer is the first thing that comes to your mind but then again my question is where the hell is one piece one in particular it had one of the best animation ever like ever created an anime and i'm not being biased here it's just the animation was really really good why is one piece not here mob wasn't bad as well jjk i would go with jjk because i don't want to spoil anyone who didn't uh see season two but i had one fight in particular where i was just like holy fuck this is peak this is amazing this is flawless but i also had some fights where i was like just oh fuck what did they do here but uh the peak that it had is just in my opinion one of the best that came like ever best original anime akiba made war that's a great name i have to check that one out i haven't watched it birdie wink golf oh this is golf girl story season two i didn't watch this one as well body daddies also didn't watch do it yourself also didn't watch mobile suit gundam the witch from mercury didn't watch the marginal service i didn't watch because i know that golf girl story season one was good i will just go with this one it's just yeah i might be wrong here but i didn't really watch any of these shows so i can't really give you guys my opinion on them best film black clover i don't know blue giant haven't heard anything about this one kaguya sama love is war the first kiss that never ends was there a kaguya sama movie yeah there was a movie oh but it aired like last year pretty decent rating as well the only movie that i watched here is suzume i also didn't know that psychopaths released a movie slam dunk i knew something but i was never of a big fan of slam dunk i will go with suzume it was a pretty good movie pretty decent i enjoyed it and uh yeah i'll just vote for it let's go suzume best new series i would go with oshinoko but then again chainsaw man was fucking amazing hell's paradise was amazing heavenly delusion again i didn't really enjoy the show sorry guys zone 100 it was okay to an extent but nothing crazy it's between chainsaw man and oshinoko i think that hell's paradise is the best eight out of ten show that you can watch right now it's not the best but it's actually pretty pretty good yeah it's more than decent but i, I will go with uh chainsaw man here best continuing series why the hell is attack on titan here demon slayer jjk vinland saga spy fam why the hell are these shows here i get it one piece yeah it's definitely a continuing series but why would you put attack on titan demon slayer it just doesn't make any sense bro i wouldn't get mad if you would have put just bleach here probably or i don't know detective conan or something like that even boruto of course nobody would vote for boruto i'm going with one piece i don't give a fuck it is not only the best continuing series but it's one of the best series that is airing right now so yeah i'm, I'm going with one piece anime of the year and there is no attack on titan i don't remember when was the last time that aot had the release that year and it it wasn't even nominated like that's shocking for me holy shit i can't believe and why the fuck is pochi the rock here who made this list first of all oshinoko probably my favorite anime that dropped in 2023 pochi the rock as i said i enjoyed the show but come on come on come on chainsaw man amazing fantastic show it should have won last year though in my opinion it came out like october 2022 I don't really think that people are gonna vote for Chainsaw Man. 
Demon Slayer. It was decent. Was it the best show that came out this year? I don't think so. JJK is the best modern day shonen. That's all I have to say. I had a lot of complaints regarding their animation because there were some scenes that I really didn't enjoy, didn't like. But overall, if I look back now, it's it's been a fucking amazing, amazing season. Oh, and Vinland Saga as well. Oh, Vinland Saga, the storytelling is so fucking amazing. The writing is impeccable. It's so good. It's fucking peak. It's amazing. I don't know if my heart is telling me to go with Oshinoko. I loved Chainsaw Man as well. But then again, I just, I, I can't, I cannot ignore JJK. I'm so, 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 so sorry, Aqua. I'm sorry, Ruby. And I'm sorry, my idol. I, Hoshino. Sukuna, it's because of you, you son of a bitch. That's gonna do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And also, please let me know down in the comments below what your favorite anime of 2023 was. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.